Alola everyone, it's the Munch and welcome back to Pokemon Sun and Moon. Last episode we checked out the Pokepelago, which is a pretty awesome new feature in Pokemon Sun and Moon. And we also had an epic rival battle versus my buddy Johnny Awesome. It was actually the most intense Pokemon battle I think I've had in quite a long time, so definitely make sure to check that out if you didn't before. But today we are actually going to be continuing along with the story as we're making our way through Route 8 and hopefully to the Lush Jungle, which is actually the third trial here on Akawa Island. Island and the final one on the island so if you guys are excited make sure to hit that like button hopefully today we can wrap up things here on Akawa Island so definitely leave a like if you're excited and let's get to it because I actually have a clip from the previous episode that didn't quite make it here so there's still more berries we got some chesto and still more we got an orange berry all right oh wait what there's still more what the heck how many berries are under this tree holy moly I guess five berries and finally we get a citrus berry I noticed that when we went to Pokepelago, we didn't actually have any citrus, but that is definitely the berry I would want to uh, grow the most of, because it's the most helpful berry, I think. But, trainer detected! I will now commence the attack! Oh, I'm real scared of this one. Not really, though, but we're gonna take on another trainer. I noticed the name Nikki there. I don't know if that's a nod to Nicki Minaj, but we did have a Beauty Britney earlier, which I thought was a nod to Britney Spears. So I feel like with their names now, they're really making references to like pop culture or just random stuff. I don't know. But Nikki here has got a Mill Tank. I don't know what that says about her, but definitely says that Wishy Washy is going to kill it here with the Z move. I cannot help it, guys. I got to use the Hydro Vortex every day now. It's just that powerful and that cool. So let's do it, Wishy Washy. Wait, that actually didn't kill it. Are you serious? Well, I can't believe that mill tank survived somehow, and it's still storing energy, apparently. I think it should go down in this turn, though, so thankfully it doesn't get to unleash its rage on us. Or bite, I guess, is the actual move that it was using, but I don't know. I feel like it's more... It looks more like it could be rage instead of bite, because it's literally raging up in fury and eventually unleashes that power, but... El Tigre has grown to level 28, at which point, I guess we're learning Swagger. And you know what? Even though I think Swagger is really annoying when used against us, I'm actually going to teach it to El Tigre. Because I haven't really used Work Up all that much either way. But, there we go. Rising Star Nikki and her Mill Tank gave us a whole bunch of experience. And now we can move on to over here, because I noticed that there's an item back here. And also a pretty long patch of grass, so of course, we're going to run into a wild Pokemon. Hopefully it's something new, actually. And, ooh... Well, it's not really new, because we actually have this evolution, but that was quite something. But we can at least get this Ultra Ball, really. Was it worth it, guys? Was it worth all that trouble? I'm not really sure, but you know what? I feel like we haven't played with Puka in a little bit, and I really want to check him out. So hopefully if we run into something else here, it'll be something new for us. Nope, it was just another Trumbeak, of course. And we're back to the present munch as we're going to take on this scientist here. And by the present munch, I mean it's actually me, like today, recording this episode, the same day it's being posted. So, hello everybody, and welcome to any new European people out there, because I know the game actually came out in Europe today, and that is just so exciting because I definitely have a couple of European friends that were waiting to get the game, and I'm so excited that everyone can enjoy Sun and Moon now, or at least everyone has the chance to enjoy it if you can get the game. Um, but I believe it is out worldwide now now which is super super exciting either way uh, we're actually starting off with a battle here against an Arcan. I just realized we're not really starting off because we're pretty far into the episode now but I guess I'm just starting off with this episode because all you heard from before was just me I guess yesterday it's a little bit confusing but editing kind of does that sometimes either way we are taking on this Arcan, and I'm a little curious, or I was a little curious, what fossil Pokemon we could find in the Alola region. Because as you guys know, almost every region in Pokemon has really cool fossils that you can get. And I guess here in Alola, the fossils, I'm not really sure if they have a unique new fossil Pokemon. I think they're actually just using the 5th generation ones, or maybe a combination of a couple of them actually. I don't really know, because we haven't run into a fossil quite yet, but at least this scientist here has Arcan. And that probably tells me that you can find Arkin in the Alola region. And what the heck? He's actually also got a shield on. So maybe, like I said, guys, it's a combination of different fossil Pokemon from different generations and regions. Because shield on is, of course, from fourth generation. And then Arkin was from fifth. So definitely a cross of fossil generations there. I like that, though. Unfortunately, goes down pretty easily to Wishy Washy there. Just such a strong Pokemon, as you guys might have seen it in the battle against Johnny. Wishy Washy was just so, so powerful. 
Um, so definitely going to be a good Pokemon to have on your team. I present the results of my research. This person's Pokemon, strong. Yeah, I could have told you that, man. I mean, you could have just known that just seeing Wishy Washy come out. It is a very, very powerful whale, or I guess school of fish that turns into a whale. I don't know, but there's this dude near here who says that he wants to make a whole theme park full of nothing but Pokemon restored from fossils. What the heck? Literally Jurassic Park is happening? What is this? The Fossil Restoration Center. Let's make a fossil filled wonderland. Are you kidding me? Pokemon, this guy actually wants to make a Jurassic Park. Welcome to the Dream Park, where dreams become reality and fossils become Pokemon. Someday this whole place is going to be filled bursting with Pokemon from the ancient past. That's my dream for this, the Dream Park, to bring the ancient world back to life. That is really great, dude. I don't know how you're going to make that come true, but I did see from a lot of you guys in the comments that behind this truck, there is a Thunderstone. And if you guys don't know, Pikachu actually evolves with a Thunderstone, and that means that we can actually get something pretty dang cool now that we came here. I wonder if there's anything else here, actually. Let's check it out with Stoutland. Ooh, there's definitely a hidden item somewhere around here. I guess it's on this box, and it's an Awakening. So if you guys don't know, I actually learned something from my friend yesterday in that you can actually register uh, the Poké Ride to the D-Pad. So check it out. I've actually got mine registered now. And that means that I can easily switch from Stoutland to Tauros and then back to Stoutland. And of course, call out Lapras whenever we want near the water as well. Pretty awesome that they actually have shortcuts for it. But I guess that guy for now, we can't really do much with him because I don't know when he's actually going to revive fossils, but I'm assuming if we have any fossils, he can actually revive them for us. Um, but let's get off Stoutland and take this rest of the route a little bit more slowly because, I don't know, when I'm riding on Stoutland, it feels like we just breeze past everything, and I can't really notice the little details. So, looks like we got another motel here. I'm afraid we've got no vacancies, especially not with that room two doors down being rented out nonstop all the time. The boy staying there paid up to two years worth of nights when he first got here. So he's not so free with cash now as he used to be. Seems like Team Skull doesn't pay well enough to live off of. Oh my gosh, no way. Gladion actually stays here. Or at least I'm assuming that's who this lady's talking about. I guess there's only one way to find out, guys. So let's go two doors down. Or I guess just one door down because he's right here. Or I guess this is the only one that we can open. Get out. <laughs> that's literally it. All right. Well, I guess I don't know what I was expecting from Gladion. But you know what? Because he's such a sour guy. Oh man, we can't sleep on his bed. I wonder what the heck he's doing there though. Like, I guess he just pays out that hotel and stays there and, uh, I don't know, takes on the Battle Royal to prove that Type Null is the best Pokemon. But as you guys saw, there's a dive ball around the back of the motel there. And whoa, what the heck? We got a golfer by the looks of things. The swing is all in the hips. I'll put my hips into it when I take you on. All right, well, let's take on this golfer here. A little bit of a difference from the beauty trainers, of course. I guess they've got the same outfit and everything. They're literally just holding a golf stick, but I guess she's got a Meowth, and it is Alolan Meowth. Since I told you guys I'm trying to fill up the Pokedex, um, in this game, actually catching Pokemon also fills up or gives you experience. So pretty much just catching Pokemon has been training up the rest of my team. So I think maybe when I go on these catching sprees, I'm going to turn off the EXP share because I feel like we're getting a little bit over leveled and... Um, I always kind of like being the underdog a little bit in Pokemon, so I don't really want to be too high level when it comes to taking on, like, the trial challenges and stuff. And so far, we've been pretty dang powerful in Sun and Moon. But we got another golfer here. This time, it's, uh, Alan. They're enjoying their time golfing on the parking lot because why the heck not, you know? Why go to the golf course when you can golf on a parking lot? That's what I always say. And he's actually got a little rock rough, which thankfully we do have the hidden power fighting, so not really going to be able to do too much. But hey, speaking of rock rough, ours actually evolved a couple of episodes ago, and we haven't really had a huge chance to use it yet. So I really want to try to use Loba in this episode because Loba actually came through really clutch in that Wi-Fi battle I was talking about. So it was really awesome, actually. I really like Loba and rock rough, or I guess like and rock now that it evolved. But there goes his own like and rock. And there goes Golfer Allen. What a miss. My performance was absolutely terrible. I'm sorry to hear that, pal. Gosh, I can't seem to talk properly today, but it's okay. It's early in the morning. Sometimes my voice takes a little bit to warm up. It's actually kind of crazy, but those Wimpod always run away before I can nab one. And even if you catch up to one, they still try to distract you by dropping items they've gathered and then they run away again. This little kid here is actually telling us about Wimpod, which is definitely a Pokemon I want to try to catch, but I'm not sure where it's at. Oh, it could be actually up here. 
because I just noticed that there's a little bit of an area and also a Zygarde cell getting sucked up right into the cube there. I can't believe I almost didn't notice that, but ooh, there's a Wimpod actually right there. Get over here, come on, no! It ran away so quickly, what the heck? That's so cool. Trainer tips, do you know when the stats describing a Pokemon means? I don't care, I just wanna catch Wimpod. I guess maybe we've gotta sneak up to it slowly or I'm not sure, that kid definitely gave us some tips as to how to get one, but the reason that Mallow is always looking for the best ingredients in Lush Jungle is actually because she wants to make Olivia say once and for all that her cooking is the best. That's great, so let's go try out some of Mallow's cooking ourselves as we head into Route 5. Wait, what? I thought this was going to be the Lush Jungle. Oh, I guess this is it. The designated trial site for the Island Challenge. And that means, guys, it is once again time to take on another trial here. The third and final trial of Akala Island. But actually, it looks like there's a bit of an area over here. Ooh, what the heck? What is this Pokemon running up to us here? Definitely not a Wimpod. And yep, just as suspected, it is a Diglett. We actually ran into these little mounds of dirt back at the beach area. I think it was Route 7. Um, they had these little mounds of dirt running after you, and I suspected that they might be Diglett, and it turns out that they were Diglett. But we, of course, already have our own Alolan Diglett, so I'm gonna ignore that for now, and... Ooh, there is actually a hidden item here. I kinda suspected there would be. Again, my hidden sense, or sixth sense for hidden items is kicking in, but guys, let's finally head into the Lush Jungle! And it looks like Mallow is ready to feed us already. Thanks for stopping by. Welcome to Lush Jungle, the trial grounds for me, Mallow. I knew it the first time I saw you and your team. You've chosen only of the finest ingredients. That's why I'm gonna make you help me. Uh, nah. I mean, that's why you should try my trial. You are the one who got a sparkling stone straight from Tapu Koko, aren't you? You're so totally ready for this. Ah, the breath of the jungle. I can tell just what today's special should be. Is it some more white sauce, Mallow? I can help you with that. Yep, it's gotta be my personal specialty, the Mallow Special. I'm gonna need you to find four ingredients for me. I'll need a Mago Berry, a Tiny Mushroom, a Revival Herb, and a Miracle Seed. Here you go, I brought you a Forage Bag to hold all the ingredients gathered for your trial. All right, so we get the Forage Bag, and it looks like Mallow's trial is gonna be a little bit different from the rest of the ones we've done so far, but then again, Every trial has been kind of different, so if you put the trail ingredients in your own bag, they get mixed up with your stuff, right? When you're hunting for ingredients, you're gonna want to rely on Stoutland's help. I'll find things, or it'll find things that you don't see after all. You remember what I told you at the farm, right? Just press the B button to use Stoutland search. Okay, one more time. There are four things you need to get. A Mago Berry, a Tiny Mushroom, a Revival Herb, and a Miracle Seed. We got that. Okay, then here in Lush Jungle, it's time for Mallow's trial to begin. And the trial has started, guys! Wow, it didn't get really quite as cool of an intro as the rest of the trials did, though, but Mallow's special tip, Stoutland is the best! So let's do it! Let's call upon the wrong Pokémon, actually, and I guess search for some ingredients around here. Oh, look at that! We already found one, it looks like. And it's probably the mushroom spouting from above. We definitely need the tiny mushrooms. So let's put that in the forage bag. But the big mushroom attacked! What the heck?! How is there a mushroom attacking us right now, unless... Oh, whoa, what the heck? It's actually a wild Parasect. I kind of thought it was going to be uh, the new mushroom Pokemon in this game. I believe it's called Morlol, but I guess that's not really a big mushroom. It's kind of a tiny mushroom. Um, but can we run away from this thing? Oh, no, there's no running from a trial. I feel like I haven't used Loba actually that much since it evolved, but... Oh, no, Spore! Really? Wow, that kind of sucks. Putting us to sleep right off the bat. This Parasect is not messing around, which is why I'm not going to mess around either. And we're going straight for that uh, Awakening here. I think we also have some berries that might be able to heal that up. And actually, um, it should be almost 24 hours now, so all of the berries that we planted in yesterday's episode at the Pogapelago uh, might actually be, I guess, ready to be harvested. Let's just say it that way. But there we go. Parasect goes down, and Puka even gains a level there. Um, I actually could be using El Tigre as well considering El Tigre is a fire type, but hey, it's me, Mallow. Ooh, a tiny mushroom. That's great. That's a secret to why they're so popular with some people. You'll have to try one out to find out what it is. Still, three ingredients left to get. We still need a whole big helping. So I think we need the Revival Herb, the Miracle Seed, and then one other thing that I kind of forgot already, but it's okay. I'm sure we'll remember by the time we find the ingredient, and whoa, looks like there's actually another one nearby. I don't really know. I guess it's over there in that corner. So let's check it out, and... Oh, there it is! An X-Defense, what? 
It's not even one of the trial items. All right, well, whatever. This is pretty cool though. I like running around on Stoutland and whoa, I did not know there were deeper parts to the lush jungle, but looks like Mallow's special tip. When Pokemon bury seeds in the ground, they gain a special, rich and complex flavor. Huh, I guess that's just a quick tip for like cooking. I don't know, maybe Mallow's got her own cookbook actually, but it looks like we need the help of Tauros to smash through this rock. And now I bet there's a hidden item under it. Is there? Or maybe it's up here. Wait, what the heck? There wasn't even anything. Where is it? There we go, an X attack. That's also not one of the trial items though. I'm assuming we need another uh, kind of, I guess, poke ride to be able to smash those that we still don't have, but we might be getting it pretty soon. Either way, I'm assuming there will be another one of the items maybe down here. Probably behind this rock, isn't it? All right, just gotta keep switching between both of them. And there we go, there's a seed buried in the ground. A miracle seed, nice. Hopefully nothing attacks us this time. Nope, just Mallow. Hey, that's a miracle seed. Miracle seeds are bursting with nutrition. They really are a miraculous gift from the jungle. Still two more ingredients left to get, just a little more to find. All right, Mallow, I'm gonna try my best. That was actually kind of tough to find though, but hopefully the rest of the items aren't quite as bad. And oh, make sure to grab this item before we hop on down. And that is a big root. I don't think we actually needed one of those. But she did need one of the roots or something. It was a revival herb and then one more thing. I'm assuming if we talk to Mallow, she'll tell us what ingredients we needed exactly, but I think we're okay. We can just figure it out ourselves. So let's head off to the left this time and we've got another special tip. Oh, it's a berry, right? It was a, uh, what kind of berry was it actually? I'm sure once we see the name, I'll recognize it. But ooh, looks like there's actually a Poke Finder spot here. And what kind of Pokemon will we take a picture of today? Looks like Paris. Come on, little buddy, give us like a little, give us a pose or something so I can get more points for you. Come on, little Paris, don't be like that. Oh, there we go. It's facing from the front now. Nice, that's a good picture right there. Oh, it's getting even closer. Oh, no. Oh, man, I almost get it doing its action pose if I would have waited one more second longer, but it's okay. I think this picture, no, this picture should be good enough to get us a couple of points here. And there we go. Upload that real quick to the U-Tubs and... Nice, 2,000 thumbs ups, that's not bad at all. And we actually get a total of 10,000 thumbs ups on our photos, which means we can finally get the version three. Congratulations, Art in Order, kiddo. You got 10,000 thumbs ups, that means you get version three. <laughs> With version three, you can finally zoom in on things even more than you could before, champ. What the heck, so we can zoom in even more? I thought we were already zooming in way more than enough, but I guess not for uh, Rotom. He likes to zoom in all the way there. And whoa, looks like we got something in this tree here. What the heck? It's actually attacking us. Well, I was not expecting that, but it is a little Fomantis here. And if you, in case you guys haven't caught this Pokemon yet, you can definitely find one here by the looks of things. I mean, we're literally looking at it right now, so obviously you can catch one here, but this is actually a pure grass type Pokemon. I don't know if it's part of the trial though. Oh, I guess it is. All right, maybe it's a... Uh, hiding our berries or something. But you know what? During both rival battles so far, actually, El Tigre has just kind of gotten a little unlucky. Also kind of my fault, but you know, I'm hoping that in the next one, El Tigre will actually be a beast. I don't know who we're going to be battling or when it's going to be, but it is going to be awesome. Either way, taking down that Fomantis pretty quickly there. And also gaining level 29. What the heck, dude? I feel like I haven't been using El Tigre that much, but still, he's just gaining levels like crazy. I guess maybe the AXP share is really just that good in this game, but let's see what we end up getting out of this tree. Hopefully the berry that we need, or maybe it's on the ground. Oh, there's a berry buried, a berry buried. <laughs> I just noticed that. And of course, Mallow's gonna sneak up on us again, but I don't mind it. Congrats on finding that Mago Berry. The bigger and more twisted a Mago Berry, the sweeter it will taste. Just one last ingredient left. Get back out there and find it. All right, Mallow. I think it's the revival herb that we need finally, so um, I guess there's only one area left to explore, and that is up to the deepest part of the lush jungle. So let's bring out our buddy Stoutland once again and start looking around for some items. We got Mallow's final special tip. They are shorter than nearby grasses and they revive whoever eats them, so they're great to add to any dish. All right, well, I don't really think we need a revival herb ourselves, but we definitely need one for the trial. And look, there it is. Let's pull it up and see what comes out. Wait, no it's not, it's a normal weed. And also a Pokemon apparently. Oh boy. I wonder what's actually gonna pop out this time. Is it a new Pokemon perhaps? Nope, another Fomantis. That's not too bad though. Can definitely take that out with El Tigre, just like the last one. Unfortunately not really a Pokemon that Puka can handle. 
I'm gonna hold off a little bit actually on getting the Alolan Raichu. I'm not sure when, but I feel like it doesn't really learn that many good attacks when you evolve it straight off the bat, so definitely want to keep Pikachu for a little bit longer and learn some moves, I feel like. Uh, but this surface is covered with moss. It feels soft to the touch. Now, I believe this, of course, here is the moss rock that you can use to evolve Eevee into Leafeon. And that is pretty cool, actually, that it's there. But, oh, what the heck? I guess this is just a giant patch of grass, and we've got to look for the revival herb. And what? We can enter this tree. Oh, my gosh. It's a TM for Grass Knot. That's pretty cool. That's kind of random, too, that we happen to find that. But, um, I don't know. I guess I don't mind. His Grass Knot is actually pretty good. So, let's look around now for this Revival Herb. It's got to be somewhere around here in this shorter grass. And there it is. So, let's try to pull it up and see if this is it. Nice, it was. All right, that was not too bad. A Pokemon leaped out. Oh, no. I guess there's still one more Fomantis to battle us. That's okay, though. We handled the other ones quite easily. So, I think this one... Won't be too much trouble either. All right, Tigre, one Fire Fang should take this thing down. I literally see no reason why it wouldn't, but that actually reminds me that I really, really want to put the uh, Fire Realm Z on El Tigre and try out the Fire Type Z move that Kiawe gave us just a couple episodes ago, but I keep forgetting to do that, so hopefully we get a chance to do so before the final challenge of this trial, but... There it is, the Revival Herb. It's bittersweet as even a shock to Pokemon, but that's what will add depth to the flavor. Oh, looks like you've got everything. Okay, it's time for us to start cooking, so come on back to the entrance of the jungle. We're gonna do that in just a second, because before we do, like I just mentioned, I really want to put the Fireum Z on El Tigre, and this is gonna be awesome, so he's already holding the amulet coin, we're gonna switch that out. Oh, so that's why I've been getting so much money, no wonder. At least every time El Tigre battles, it looks like we get a little bit of extra cash. But yeah, with that done, I guess we will now head off back to the entrance of the jungle. And Stoutland, you've been awesome, but I don't think we need your assistance anymore, little buddy. Or big buddy, that Stoutland is actually pretty huge, but where is actually the entrance? I think it's off this way? Yep, this is actually it right here. Hey, Orange! Great, now that we've got all the ingredients we just need... Sorry to keep you waiting. How are you, Mallow? Wait, what the heck? Yo, all three trial captains have shown up together. This is so cool. I brought a thick club and a rare bone. And what did Lana bring us? Some fresh water and the usual Rocky helmet. Oh, are they going to cook it all in the Rocky helmet? That's so cool. Thanks, Lana. Thanks, Kiawe. Now we've got everything we need. You're up next, Orange. We're going to cook up a storm and lure out the totem Pokemon of Lush Jungle. Whoa. Let me see what you've got for me. One Mago Berry, a Tiny Mushroom, a Revival Herb, and a Miracle Seed. Check. Perfect. Just what the recipe calls for. Now we can make the Mallow Special. The Mallow Special doesn't sound that tasty. I gotta, not gonna lie, guys. It's kind of just a jumbo mumbo of random stuff from the jungle. But the aroma of this tasty dish will draw that totem Pokemon right to us. Ready to start cooking? Yes, let's do it. Okay, Lana. Flip that rocky helmet over and let's pour that fresh water into it. Here you are. Then in go the Mago Berry, the Tiny Mushroom and the Revival Herb, and the Miracle Seed. Kiawe, let's use this thick club and that rare bone for a minute. Here you are. Okay, Orange, grab the thick club and the rare bone and pound it all to a pulp. Oh yeah, let's pound that. What the heck? Are you serious? Crush it. Oh my gosh, why do they zoom down like this? We really gotta grind it. Okay. <laughs> Um, am I the only one that thinks this is a little bit weird? Turn it to go! Oh yeah, let's go, Mallow! Alright, we're pounding it for real. A unique aroma begins to waft around the area. You feel a piercing gaze from somewhere within the underbrush. Dude, you gotta stop smiling! Oh gosh! What is going on here? Oh, that doesn't look that big. Lurantis, the totem Pokemon of Lush Jungle, has appeared. And of course, we've got to take it on. So here we go, guys. The fourth totem Pokemon has appeared. Lurantis. I keep thinking this is actually the third trial overall, but it's the fourth for sure. So Lurantis, the fourth trial Pokemon. And of course, we've still got Puka up first, which is not good at all. So I have got to get the heck out of here. Actually, I might just heal up... Uh, yeah, El Tigre and just kind of let Puka fall here because I don't know Puka. I'm sorry to do this, but what the heck? It's absorbing the sunlight. What? Okay. Wait, it's got a power herb. What is this? This is not a solar beam, is it? 
This is Solar Blade, and oh my gosh! That is definitely gonna one-shot us there. Oh, wow. Okay, well, I guess at least it used up that Power Herb, so now it can't really do that again. So now it is time to go for El Tigre. And just a couple of pointers for you guys in case you did not pick up Litten, if you have another starter Pokemon, uh, because I have heard that a lot of people struggle in this trial. And I gotta say, it seems pretty tough, or it sounds tough, but this is actually my first time taking it on. But just in case you are struggling, um, uh, I would recommend you can actually catch a Salandit right outside here or back at the Volcano, and that is a Fire-type Pokemon, so definitely gonna be good against Lorantis here. I actually wanna see how much damage we can do with just our regular Fire Fang before we go for that Fire-type Z-Crystal, because I'm a little bit scared that it's gonna get one shot, and you've gotta be kidding me. You have actually got to be kidding me. I missed and get confused. How much unluckier can we get than that? Oh my gosh. All right, well, it is time to go for Kazooie, because at least Kazooie's got that pluck there, so I don't know, man. And also, it can hopefully tank out a Solar Beam or Solar Blade or whatever, if it actually goes for it, which I don't really know if it will. I guess it would have to charge up, though, now that it doesn't have that Power Herb, but either way, um, this one's got the pluck on us, actually. It's okay, though. I really wanted to bring out uh, Loba to try and kill that Trumbeak real quick, but I'm a little bit scared, actually, that Loba would get one shot by the Solar Blade as well, so here we go. Let's just pluck away the Lurantis, and oh gosh! Okay, that doesn't hurt that bad, actually. Finally, we get a hit. I can't believe that El Tigre actually missed and also got confused, and honestly, I would rather not deal with the confusion after what happened last time with confusion. Actually, after what's happened a couple of times now with confusion, but I guess uh, we got a super potion up here real quick because we are not faster than that Lurantis, and I definitely want to live to tell another turn at least. At least one more turn, so here we go. Absorbing the sunlight. Is it actually just a one turn? Oh, no, okay. I guess next turn it gets to go for it. I don't think that it would kill us, though. It is a pretty powerful attack, but I don't think it would kill Kazooie because it's not very effective, so let's go for another pluck, and hopefully I'm right. I really hope that I'm right, and it doesn't kill us because otherwise that would just kind of suck, but... There it is, and wow, that is just so powerful, a critical hit too, dang, we've gotten a little bit unlucky today I feel like so far, but it's okay, I still believe in my Pokemon, we can definitely take down this trial, and maybe, just maybe it's gonna take all that we got, and that is of course our Z power, so here we go guys, the Inferno Overdrive for the first time ever, and I almost actually used it on Trumbeak, that would have been really sad, but, are you kidding me? You've got Synthesis, what the heck? Oh man, that is gonna heal it back up to full HP. But it's okay guys, because we have got our Z power, and it is actually my favorite Pokemon type, Fire type. Let's go, Litten. This is gonna be so cool. Unleash your full power Z move, Inferno Overdrive. Wha-bam! Holy moly, what? What the heck, dude? That is insane! And of course, the Lurantis gets one shot. That is just so powerful! Wow, I love Z-moves, man. I Honestly, I would not be surprised one bit if they one day come out and just say, yeah, they're all based off Dragon Ball Z-moves, because they are literally called Z-moves. Dragon Ball Z, I don't know, man. Maybe it's for Zygarde. I actually don't know why they're called Z-moves, but maybe it's part of the story of this game, and we'll find out later on why that is. But then again, we didn't really find out all the secrets of Mega Evolution, so I'm not expecting them to really explain everything about Z-Moves, but at least give us their origin, like why are they called Z-Moves, and what the heck are they exactly? I guess it's just the combination of your Pokemon and your own strength, but there we go guys, with our Z-Move, with our determination, and I guess the trust between our Pokemon and ourselves, we were able to do it. And there we go guys, we have taken down the fourth totem Pokemon, Lorantis, and beat Mallow's Trial. I love how happy our uh, Toracat was there too. So cute. Wow, Orange, you're strong, huh? You really were able to dry off the flavor of your Pokemon in that battle. The totem Pokemon blowed right down to you. Actually, it bowed. It didn't blow. Um, yes, even back at Whale of Volcano Park, my vaunted Salazzle didn't stand a chance. Nor did the wishy-washy that I trained so carefully. All right, you've cleared all three of Akala's trials. You even managed to get through my trial, and I'd say it's a real doozy. Here, a gift for such an inspiring young trainer. Is this our next Z-Crystal? Yes, it is, guys. We're going to be getting the Grass Z-Crystal. And with that, 
Our trial is complete. Four down and three more to go. I love that these three trial captains are also like kind of buddies on this island. They're really cool because they actually also have the three types of the starter Pokemon. But let me show you how to use grass type Z moves. You go like grass, okay? Grass, okay? Got it. Since you cleared my trial orange, I want you to help me train some Pokemon from here in lush jungle. Here, have some nest balls. All right. Everybody gave us Pokeballs too, actually. I think uh, Dive Balls, then Quick, and now Nest Balls, which are all pretty good. So, looks like Lorantis didn't finish all the food. Ooh, I really want you guys to try some. Have a bite, Kiawe. You too, Lana. I don't think so. Isn't this Pokemon food? Ugh, I guess they tried it out. Hopefully it's delicious. I mean, I guess I don't really know. The flavor from the rare bone seems to fill my whole mouth. It tastes so good, you might felt... No, wait. Is that my tongue that's melting? <gasps> Oh, it's, it's so spicy. Dang, you messed up, Mallow. <laughs> I guess she's not the best cook on the island. What? What's wrong with you guys? Don't you have any taste? Are you headed off to Olivia's for the grand trial? I guess so, because that is definitely where we're headed off to next. But not before Kakui. Whoa, what's that sweet smell I smell drifting my way? Could it be a tasty Mallow special? I heard you cleared Mallow's trial, yeah? Alright then, I have a present for you! That little TM right there is Smart Strike, a move that will never miss! Wait, for real? That is definitely not a move we've ever heard or seen before, but TM67 is now Smart Strike! Cool! There will be all kinds of discoveries and new experiences to make your adventure brighter! There's a facility, yeah, that I want you to go check out on your island challenge. The Dimensional Research Lab. Let's get on over there with extreme speed. Bro, I actually already checked that place out, but I guess now we get to go there with Kukui. Hey there, Orange. Guess I should congratulate you on clearing all three of Akala Island's trials. Congrats. Looks like it's time for you to take on Kahuna Olivia's grand trial. Olivia is an expert user of rock-type Pokemon. You're going to want to catch some grass-type Pokemon in Lush Jungle to add to your team. Whenever you're ready for the grand trial, come see me at the Dimensional Research Lab. It's down past Route 6, yeah? But just ask Rotom if you need some help. Alright, Kikui. So now we know, guys. Our next challenge is going to be the grand trial of Olivia. And I am so incredibly excited because I can't believe we've actually already completed most of Akala Island. And no, another Diglett! And with that, we will conclude this episode of Pokemon Sun and Moon. So let's head back over here and we will end off at this Pokemon Center down this way because next time uh, we actually won't be heading off to Olivia's just yet. There's a couple of things and side quests that we can do here on Akala and other islands now that we have access to surfing and a couple of other things. So thank you for watching and I will see you all next time on Pokemon Sun and Moon. Yeah.